Is Fernando a better right fielder or center fielder? He's a better outfielder. <laughs> yeah, I don't know left, center, right. But um, right now, he's out there shagging him right and out there shagging in center. So um, he's pretty good at both of those right now. He's a spectacular athlete, but how, how, how difficult or easy transition would it be for him to go from shortstop to playing the outfield? Mm, I don't think it'll be hard. I mean, Adam Jones went from shortstop to the outfield, <laughs> so I, I don't think it's going to be hard. Uh, fly out, uh, who was it? Gordon went from third base to left field and became gold glove out there. So it's just getting the reps. The reps is all what matters. Do you think, I know he's getting some time out there right th th this week. Do you think that when he comes off the IL that he could be ready to play, play the outfield? Uh, that's up to AJ and company. That ain't up to me. My job is to try to get him as comfortable as possible out there. And if the decision comes that he's playing in the outfield, we'll be ready for that. If the decision comes that he's going to play in the infield, we'll be ready for that one too. What kind of, what kind of instincts um, is, he, is he showing out there that you've seen? <laughs> Real good. <laughs> that's all I can tell you. Real good. Like, 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 like gold glove good? or what, I mean, that's putting a lot on him, but what are you seeing from him instinctively? Well, put it this way, if you see him and Trent in the outfield, you'll be like, wow. <laughs> Big wow. That's two gold gloves for me. <laughs> what's, uh, what's, I know AJ's watching him do his thing, but what, what, what does the team want him to do? What does the team want him not to do when he's out? Well, I mean, it's kind of hard to, to tell a kid that uh, he don't supposed to dive and he don't supposed to do this because instincts take over. And playing shortstop, you know, every once in a while the ball becomes out of your reach and you can dive and make that play. So that's what happened. In the outfield, it all depends on your jumps. If you get good jumps, you don't have to dive. If you get a late jump, you may have to dive. But his speed is a makeup speed that you don't see too often. It's, it's a stupid speed. <laughs> Put it that way. <laughs> so is it so is it the speed and just overall athleticism? Those are the traits that like you, makes you think it can translate really well out there. Like anything specific about the way he plays that would translate? Well, well, speed is the is the biggest key. I mean, I remember playing against uh, Boston when they had Betts, they had um, Ben Attendee, and Jackie Bradley Jr. Ain't nothing fall. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a team full of Ferraris right there. You give me a team full of Ferraris, we're gonna we're gonna make some adjustments, some real good adjustments. They're gonna have to beat us over the over the fence. But uh, other than that, it's it's, a, it's special. But how I'm sorry. How different is the read off the bat, like for a guy who hasn't been in maybe right field or center or wherever it is? Uh, not not hard, not hard. If you go out there and and, and practice, I mean, today is the day was throw day to bases. And and uh, shag day. Tomorrow's be another shag day, and and he's shagging in center. He's shagging in right. So uh, he's seeing the ball off the bat. And his, his instincts are impeccable. So uh, he, he shouldn't have any problem. His speed will make up for whatever he don't need. <laughs> if he make a false move, I'm sure he can make an adjustment <laughs> to get to that ball. So. No, we, we just saw him working out there from Friday, but how long have you guys been talking to Fernando about or, or, or working out with him in the outfield? Well, we talk a little bit all, every day. <laughs> we, I mean, the, that's the part of being a coach. You have to communicate. And every once in a while, little small things come in like, hey, don't extend your arm on the wall, kind of bend it a little bit. Um, how many steps you got to uh, get to that, that play? I mean, uh, to the wall. The biggest thing is what he don't understand is where how deep and how shallow he want to play because he's so fast and you can't put a, a you can't put a number on that because he could get back to the wall just as fast as anybody and he could come in just as fast as anybody so the, the biggest thing is get where you're comfortable if a ball is hit can you get to the wall and that's going to be on him i mean this i mean you got to look he plays shortstop and he catch a ball in deep left field <laughs> so that's the ability of him going back on the ball, getting to the ball. So I, I, I don't worry about that. They're gonna make, he'll make adjustment. If a little guy's up there hitting, he'll come in. If a big guy up there hitting, he may need to back up another step. So, so. How nervous is AJ? He was like perched on the dugout watching him do his thing. <laughs> uh, I couldn't see that. I'm out there working. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know uh, working left field if he's used to being on the left side. Is it just because of the roster composition, or, or why? Why is the focus? No, uh, no. As an as an outfielder, left field is one of the hardest positions to play. 
because of the angle of the ball, the spin of the side spin, and um, you can get uncomfortable in left field. You can get really uncomfortable in left field, and I think um, I was uncomfortable in left. I was great in center, great in right, and left field was just, I just felt like balls got on me real, real fast, and they get on you true. They so, get on. So these two positions you feel like are easier for him to learn right now? Right, easy. And he's got the arm for right. He's got the arm for center. He might have too much arm for left. <laughs> That's true. So any way you look at it.